There's no secret that when it comes to birds, they have mixed reviews from people. It always seems like you either hate them or you really love them. Throughout history, they've stood for many things. They've been religious symbols. They've been in movies. They've filled our city streets and forests. No matter where you look, there's probably a bird somewhere. We even take these birds for granted as we see them every day, unlike many other animals in our lives. Oh my god! <laughs> We're used to them. But no matter how used we get to an animal, we always have to remember its level of danger. Because not all animals are made alike. And just because you see pigeons every day in the city, this doesn't mean that there aren't other birds that are a little bit more dangerous than these pigeons. So today, we bring you 15 dangerous birds that you should run away from. Golden Eagle now we started this list off with a stark warning. We gave you some insight into the fact that there are some birds that you shouldn't go up to feed. It may sound surprising to you, but this fact is all too real. There are just some birds you need to stay away from. Now, of course, not all birds have the same level of danger. Others are more dangerous than others. But this first one on our list happens to be one of the most dangerous birds in the world. And guess what? This is what the most dangerous bird in the world can do. Hold on to your bird feed because you'll definitely want to stay away from this one. The dangerous side of this eagle is pretty majestic to look at, but their beaks and claws are definitely fierce. When you look them in the eyes, who knows if something is dangerous about them. They get their prey by diving towards it and are super quiet when they do. And they don't really have much of a sound to them. And they feed upon small mammals like prairie dogs, rabbits, squirrels, and whenever they can get their claws on. So, no one stands a chance against these birds, and we don't think that we're going to try. Emu There's been one bird that we love to talk about on this channel, and it's the dodo bird. We love talking about that bird simply because of its name. It's just a fun name to say, and according to history, those birds aren't that dangerous. They're also kind of funny looking, so why not talk about them all the time? But, unfortunately, just because a bird has a funny name, this doesn't mean that they're not dangerous. After all, you probably know some people who had funny names that weren't too funny. Well, that's the case with this bird called the emu. It may be a funny name, but they're actually quite dangerous. So, let's get into why they're so dangerous to begin with. Because this might be a misconception for many. They're not pleasant to look at. They almost look like they're balding at all times. But don't let that fool you because they can run at 31 miles per hour. That's faster than a car on a city street. They can even run great distances as well. They may not have wings, but they're still birds. And they will defend themselves if they need to. They happen to be the second largest bird in the world. They're only defeated by the ostrich. One reason that there are more predators and prey is that they don't really have many predators because of their size and speed. One of the few animals that hunt them are wild dogs, humans, and sometimes crocodiles. Don't worry though, their diet mainly consists of insects, so they won't eat you up. That's always a good thing. Seagull Pigeons aren't the only birds that you've probably seen in your life while being in your city. Sure, there's the occasional robin and crow, but those don't appear as often as the next one on our list. Do you want to take a crack at which bird we're talking about? We'll give you a clue. You can usually find these birds by the water. They make awful noises. Well, maybe we shouldn't say that. There are probably some people out there who love the noise of this next bird. Can you take a guess? We're talking about seagulls. They're those white birds with long legs and long beaks that fly around the oceans while hanging out around the beaches. They may seem innocent enough, and you're probably used to them. But the truth of the matter is, these seagulls definitely have a dangerous side to them. Let's get into it. If you think you know everything that you need to know about seagulls, think again, because they're actually pretty smart. They know how to learn, they can remember, and they can even stamp their feet to mimic rainfall or trick earthworms. So what makes these birds so dangerous is the fact that they're cerebral. It's not often that there's a bird that's smart, and that's what makes them deadly. Do you even know how to drop hard-shelled mollusks onto rocks so that they can break open and eat them? Sure, they might not be as smart as humans or dolphins, but they're still up there in the predator chain of command. So don't go messing with these seagulls. Rooster Usually when we bring up those in the chicken family, it can be somewhat humorous. When you think of chickens, you often think of either eating them or them doing something funny. 
Maybe you even think of calling someone a chicken when they're afraid. Oftentimes, the lesser is spoken about a relative of the chicken family, and that's the rooster. And when you think of a rooster, you probably think of them waking up at the crack of dawn and making their noises. Or you may think of that one character in the chicken run. Whatever the case may be, one thing's for certain, and it's the fact that roosters aren't everything that they seem to be. They're actually quite dangerous. So, what's this all about? We're going to tell you right now. No, roosters aren't just dangerous to be dangerous. They are because of their protectors. They want to protect their hens, and one way they do this is through vicious pecking. This is why a lot of humans make roosters fight. Although that's a terrible thing to do, it just goes to show how dangerous these little creatures can be. The truth of the matter is that you don't want to get on their bad side. So the next time you want to make fun of a rooster, think again. African Crowned Eagle if you live in the United States, you may be familiar with the bald eagle. Even if you don't live in the United States, you're probably familiar with it as a sign of the country. Somehow, through the years, it became synonymous with freedom. You can kind of picture it right next to the American flag. And each stoic yet strong-looking animal acts as the leader of the bird kingdom. When you think of one of the toughest birds out there, you can think of the bald eagle. But many might be surprised to learn that there's more than one type of eagle. One of the more dangerous ones happens to be the African Crown Eagle. Just by the name alone, you may be able to tell that something's not quite right with this one. But hey, let's not judge a book by its cover and do some research first. Because there's definitely more to the African Crown Eagle than meets the eye. Just like our last bird on this list, this eagle can pick up prey that's quite heavy. It can lift 44 pounds, and that's more than a toddler. They are dubbed the most powerful eagle in Africa, and rightfully so, because they have a wingspan of up to almost 6 feet. But what makes them dangerous is their ability to swoop after prey in the air at 100 miles per hour. They can even break to half within 20 feet of that prey. Let's just say there's no competition with these animals in the wild. Sinister Swans Another bird that people have a big misconception about is the swan. In popular media, swans are these elegant creatures with poise. They're associated with ballet, calming environment, greenery, you name it. You don't tend to think about swans as dangerous creatures that you need to be afraid of. But of course, with everything in life, there's another side to the coin. Just like they say you can't judge a book by its cover in a negative way, you also can't judge a book by its cover in a positive way. You can assume that a creature is docile just because they look pretty. And unfortunately for us, swans aren't all that they seem to be. They're actually quite dangerous. Especially sinister swans. They have the uncanny ability to chase intruders away. They even dispute over territory which sometimes results in males fighting aggressively. They do this by rushing each other and sliding along the water's surface. You want to think about it, but they also emit a terrible noise to scare off their predators. To sum things up, they're nice birds until they don't have to be nice anymore. And that's when you really don't want to get on their bad side. Harpy Eagle We've already covered one type of eagle on this list, and we can't reiterate enough that eagles are docile creatures that stand in their environment looking over everyone else. There's a reason that they come with the phrase eagle-eyed, because you can't really miss an eagle. But more importantly, the eagle can't miss you. It isn't just that one eagle that we mentioned earlier that happens to be on the dangerous side. There's also the Harpy Eagle, and when you see this creature, you're going to want to run in the opposite direction completely. The only problem there is the fact that they can fly, and you can't. So why are these harpy eagles so dangerous? Maybe we should look into them for our own sake. They're known as the top predator in their food chain, and they even feed on sloths. They prey on pretty good-sized animals, not to mention the fact that they also prey on monkeys. Monkeys are also not easy creatures to prey on. It's safe to say that you don't want to mess around with these birds if you come in contact with them in the wild. But hopefully you will never have that problem because that's the eagle territory. Poisonous Pitohui Alright, now we move on to a bird that's not as well known as the other ones. You're not going to be able to associate this one with a bird that you already know of. As we mentioned about eagles and seagulls, this one's pretty out there and you probably won't recognize it just by looking at it. Now, of course, if you happen to be looking at it up close and in person, then you have a huge problem. Because this next one on our list is actually very poisonous. It's called the Poisonous Pitohui, and you don't want to come anywhere close to it, hence the title of our list. If you value your life, you are going to want to heed our advice on this one. 
The main thing that makes this bird dangerous, obviously, is the poison. Its main way of hurting its predators, and its poison is embedded in the skin and feathers of the bird. So even a slight touch can do some serious damage. What also makes them deadly, it's the fact that they blend in with the other birds so predators don't even think they're dangerous. Now that's camouflaging for you. Scary Shoebill We want to circle back to the dodo bird because this next one on our list kind of reminds us of the dodo bird all over again. It's because the bird in question is called a shoebill. And the shoebill may seem like a docile creature at first. One that you can even walk up to and pet. But this couldn't be further from the truth. It seems like the trend with these birds is the fact that the cuter they are, the more dangerous they are. And of course, it's our job to fill you in on just why they're dangerous and why you need to avoid this scary shoebill at all costs. As scary as it may be, at least you'll be informed by the end of this one, so that you won't get hurt if you ever do come in contact with one of these scary birds. What makes them a scary predator is their bill. It's around 7 inches long and can do some serious damage. The inside is cavernous, which makes it perfect for catching fish. If you're a fish, you're probably not going to get away from this one, on the less dangerous side. They can make noises that kind of sound like music, so they're not all dangerous. But if you do get on their bad side, they can be, so don't do that. Bone-Eating Vulture if you've noticed anything with this list, it's the fact that, as we said before, the more the computer burns, the more dangerous it seems to be. It's like there are wolves in sheep's clothing. But every now and then, it's not only the cute birds that pose a threat. Sometimes there are birds that don't hide the fact that they'll eat your bones. I know it may sound like we're exaggerating there a bit with that one. But the truth of the matter is, this next one on our list does exactly that. And it doesn't pretend to be anything more than what it is. You probably know that vultures are some of the most terrible birds out there. They're much like scavengers as they'll eat anything. Well, these bone-eating vultures take the cake. Based on their name, you probably haven't guessed what they're all about. The craziest part about these bearded vultures is the fact that they feast mainly on bones. It's almost hard to believe, but it's true. More specifically, they eat bone marrow and it's about 80% to 95% of their diet. This isn't too crazy because nowadays if you go online and see someone like Liver King, bone marrow is all the rage. But still, we think it might be the best to leave this bird to feast alone. We tend to like our bones. Canada Goose By now you've probably heard about the popular jacket company called Canada Goose. Canada Goose took the jacket world by storm in around 2014. No matter where you went in the world, you probably saw someone wearing one of those jackets in the wintertime. And they were super pricey. But did you ever wonder where they got their name from? Of course, this may not be exactly true, but there is an animal that shares the name with a company that produces those popular coats. That's right, there's an actual animal called the Canada Goose. But they're the furthest thing from a coat. They're downright dangerous. You know, I often think of a goose as being dangerous just like you wouldn't think of a swan as being dangerous. But that's the case, and here's why. The problem with this bird is the fact that they tend to be super aggressive and unnecessarily aggressive at that. A lot of their attacks on humans tend to only lead to minor to zero injuries. But still, it's not pleasant to be attacked by one. No one likes to be attacked by an animal. The scary part about this is that there have been some goose attacks that have led to broken bones and head trauma. We absolutely hope that you're never on the tail end of one of those. Cassowary Keeping with the trend of our dangerous birds list, as we mentioned before, we're not only going to cover the birds that you've heard about. You know, we're not just going to cover the birds that fall into a familiar family of birds that are popular in the world. We have to cover the birds that are dangerous and a little known. Because, after all, you want to be able to know them so that you can avoid them. And this bird is called the cassowary. It's one of them that you definitely want to steer clear of, by any means necessary. But don't be too afraid, we're going to give you everything that you need to know about this bird so that you won't get into trouble with it. You know, dangerous trouble. But if you happen to be in the dangerous trouble, then you need to be wary of their feet. Because these are dangerous parts of this bird. When they feel threatened, they will get defensive. This happens when they start to peck and use their vicious headbutts. Talk about a bird that's kind of like a wrestler. You're clear on this one unless you've been trained in MMA. Great Horned Owl If there's anything that we love doing on these lists, it's taking a notion and turning it right on its head. 
just like we did with the swan in proving that they're not as calm as they may seem. We unfortunately have to spoil another bird for you. Have you ever heard of the bird called the owl? Of course you have. And up until now, you've probably just thought of them as quiet creatures who stare at you when you're walking by. They just sit up in the trees looking around as if they're police. Well, they're not as quiet as it may seem, especially the great horned owl. As we've said many times on this list, you don't need to be afraid, you just need to be informed. And luckily, when it comes to these green horned owls, that's exactly what we are here for. It's just one of those birds that, once again, can carry the weight that you wouldn't expect. They can even carry falcons and other owls. If you try to open their talons, it would take 28 pounds of force. That's no easy task. But we'd like to think that you wouldn't be going out there trying to open this bird's talons anytime soon. Ostrich. This will be the last time that we bring up the dodo bird, we promise. We just love talking about it because it's kind of funny looking and has a funny name. It's a shame that the bird is extinct, but we hope that one day it'll be back roaming the earth so that we can talk about it just a little bit more. Now, why do we bring this up one last time? Because there's another bird out there that a lot of people find funny looking. There have been comedians like Kevin Hart who have made complete jokes about them on stage. Let's face it, when you look at this bird, you aren't afraid. But you definitely should be, because as our list goes, you never quite know what you're in for when you get in front of these birds, and the ostrich is no different. It's dangerous, just like the rest. What makes ostriches very scary is the fact that they can actually kill humans with enough force. It's the mix of their speed and their leg power that can make them very formidable opponents and dangerous to be around. You don't want to mess around with these birds no matter how funny they may look. You want to be as careful as possible around these birds. Don't threaten them, and you may get away safely, but still, maybe keep a distance in general. Red-tailed hawk what would this list be of birds without a hawk on the list to complete it? But not just any hawk, we're talking about the red-tailed hawk. It's one of the most dangerous birds that you can come across. Why is this hawk so dangerous out of the rest? Let's get into it. These birds are known as hunters, and hunters are never friendly. They're able to scan the ground from very high up. When they're ready, they have no problem snatching up their prey. Their talents may not be too long, but they're definitely one of the sharpest in the animal kingdom. You're not going to beat this hawk at eyesight either because they can see eight times better than a human can. This means that they can spy a mouse from 100 feet in the air. You might as well lean back in your chair and let this one take over because the hawk has it covered. And there you have it. If you thought you knew everything about birds, think again. Now you know that the next time you see a bird flying across the sky, you'll think twice about how safe they are. Just because they're small creatures with a lot of feathers doesn't mean that they are actually going to act like Big Bird. They know how to defend themselves, they know how to prey, and you don't want to be prey. So stay safe in those streets where the birds walk, and we'll be here to bring you any more dangerous birds that we come across. Hopefully there aren't that many, but it would kind of be fun to find some more, don't you think?